Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss few definitions that are elementary product, sum and normal forms. This is very very simple class to understand. In our previous classes, we have done some practice examples. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, elementary product, the product of the variables and their negations in a formula is called elementary product. Here product means conjunction. So any formula that contains variables and their negations in between we should have the conjunction for connective. Then we say it as elementary product. So P we call it as elementary product. Negation P conjunction Q. So this, this formula contains products products of their variables and its negations. It is not necessary to contain negation. You can simply write it as P conjunction Q. Similarly, negation Q conjunction, negation P conjunction P, we call it as elementary product. So now coming to the next equation, next definition, elementary sum. Same as the sum of the variables and their negations in the given formula is called elementary sum. If, if you take any formula, if that formula contains sum, here sum means disjunction. That formula contains disjunction of the variables, then we call it as elementary sum. P, negation P, disjunction Q, negation P, disjunction, negation Q, disjunction Q. This is an elementary sum elementary sum we call it as now coming to the normal forms we are having two types of normal forms one is disjunct to normal forms disjunct to normal form second one is conjunct to normal form here we are going to understand the definition of what's disjunct to normal form means a formula that is equal to the given formula and consists of sum of elementary products if your formula, if your proposition contains sum of elementary products, if it is in that form, we call it as a disjunctive normal form. Disjunctive means a disjunction. Disjunction means sum. Sum of elementary products. This simple proposition, we call it as elementary product because it is in the form of a negation P conjunction Q. This we call it as elementary product. P conjunction Q, sum of elementary products, if it is in this form, then we call it as disjunctive normal form. Similarly, conjunctive normal form, the next one is conjunctive normal form, a formula which is equivalent to the given formula and consists of, and it should be in the form of a product of elementary sums is called as conjunctive normal form. Conjunction means a Conjunction means a product, a product of elementary sum. See, product of elementary sums, product of elementary sum. This proposition is in the form of elementary sum. This proposition is in the form of elementary sum. So, product of elementary sums. If it is in this form, then we call it as conjunctive normal form. So, in our next classes, we are going to do some practice examples how to convert the given proposition into disjunctive normal form and conjunctive normal form. So, these are the basics to understand uh, in our next classes. Hope you understand this class. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.